Welcome to stage two. Stage two is the foliage element of making a Christmas wreath. What we need to do is we need to look at all our foliage that we've got. There's a lovely array of evergreen foliage. So you might have different conifers and spruces and pines. You might have ivy berry, holly, um, viburnum, etc. But what we want to do is we want to cut all the items to no bigger than 15 centimetres or the width of your hand. So, okay, that one would be too big. We would just cut it in half. Okay, so you want it no bigger really than, than your hand. Okay, as you can see. The reason for this is I'll explain as we're constructing. Um, I've got a really nice big bunch here of all cut foliage. And I would suggest before you actually start, I would suggest before you start, as you can see, I've got a nice mixture here. To cut all your foliage prior um, to actually attaching it on. Okay, so let's have a look. So with the foliage, we want to be creating nice bunches. So about two or three different elements of um, foliage. So I've got some nice ivy berry, uh, some spruce, uh, and a little piece of holly. Okay. I'm gonna place it on the design, going anti-clockwise. And again, using that binding technique, so we bind it on three times. One, two, three. Okay, and as you can see now, that's the first bunch on. The second bunch. Okay. Okay, third bunch. So again, just nice little small bunches. If you make your bunches too big and too fat, what will happen is they will fall out because they've nothing to grab hold onto and they'll be um, falling out because of the actual balance. But also what I would say is if they're too long, they also fall out because they're too heavy for the actual design. One, two, three. Okay, so can you see now how the design's building up? So the next one. And roughly it takes about eight. Okay, as you can see, I've got a nice mixture of the foliage again. What you want to do is you don't want to be using all the same foliage at the top. And then as you're coming round, you've known left. So again, when you're using your little bunches, try and make sure you think, oh, well, I'll, I've only got so much of that. I'll use that sparingly. So then it goes all the way around the design. That's half the design now done. That's a little bit too long. Again, one, two, three. And as you can see now, the design's building up. Okay, so using all those lovely mixed foliages, all the bits can go in, even that one with sort of like two, it's only got two on it, but that's still fine to use. So again, when you're cutting, it's really important to try and get all your pieces very, very similar sizes, because if they're all similar sizes, they'll work well together and it'll be uniformed as you're going around the design. Okay, and I've got one more last one to put on. So your last piece to bind onto the wreath, we, we lift up and bind under this first section. So as the design's down, you put your stem here, bind it on, and then when this bit lies down, it's one continuous circle of foliage. 
So you want to be binding on underneath that very first element. That very, very first piece you put on, you want to be binding just underneath there. So again, I'm lifting it up just to finish off. Okay. And this is now where it's finished and the design is complete. Okay, so we cut the wire, roughly about two inches, 10 centimeters, and pop, place it, just place it, I've bent it in the, into itself and then place it back into the moss. What will happen with that is it will actually rust and keep it all in place. Okay, so as you can see, that's the design now finished. Have a go and I'll see you back for stage three.